A group of missionaries from North Carolina is facing assault charges in Montana this morning. The missionaries say they are the victims, though, and they accuse the sheriff's office in the county where they were arrested of corruption. MTN's Kristen Merkel spoke with one of the missionaries and his daughter. I'm pulled off on the side of US 287, about a 15 minute drive from the town of Ennis, where on November 12th, a group of missionaries walking across the United States from North Carolina stopped around here to fill up their support vehicle with their belongings when they were met by the owner of the Dream Drift Motel right behind me and an altercation ensued. Uh, he put his vehicle in the park. He said three words that I'll never forget. I'll show you. Jesse Boyd and his children, along with two other missionaries, had traveled more than 5,000 miles when they say they were confronted by Brad Terrell. He rolled the window down and just began to curse and scream about, you people think you own the place, you can just park wherever you want, you can block access to people's businesses. Boyd says he tried to reason with Terrell, but when Terrell wouldn't stop cursing at them, Boyd snapped back. I said, sir, you need to go home and wash your filthy mouth out with soap. There's no reason to talk that way out here. There's women and children. Just go on and we're leaving. Boyd says he believed Terrell reached for something in his car and got out of the vehicle. Boyd pulled out his firearm. I pointed to his direction and I was very clear. I'm in fear for my life. There's children out here and uh, uh, we will defend ourselves. You need to get in your vehicle. Boyd says he put down his gun. The moment I gave up my weapon, he became very aggressive and he came into my personal space. Boyd says Terrell assaulted him, pinning him up against his vehicle and punching him in the face, breaking his glasses. And uh, in those moments, I fought back and he's a big man. He wrestled me to the ground. I was buried in snow. Boyd and his fellow missionaries say they called 911. What immediately happened was Three, multiple uh, law enforcement vehicles were on the scene and we were swatted. We were ordered out of the vehicle one by one, including my 12 year old son with multiple rifles pointed at us and guns. Boyd, along with his 18 year old daughter and two fellow missionaries were arrested. Boyd claims the Madison County officers were unprofessional. The guy that was in charge eventually came around and, you know, just he made a snide remark to me you know, uh, you you guys aren't weren't in fear for your life. He's injured. You're not. You attacked a four of you attacked a man. You're going to jail for a long time. And then he turned and said, "So is your teenage daughter." Very unprofessional in the office while they were checking me in, using bad language, remarking jokes back to me. Um, it was just a very unprofessional experience. Here is a county with a history. I mean, all you got to do is do a little reading. There's a history of some corruption there. Boyd's son was taken into custody and put into foster care while the missionary spent four days in nearby county jails. I called one of Brad Terrell's businesses, Dream Drift Flies, and spoke with an employee named Jeff. He said Terrell wouldn't talk, but that they were waiting on the truth to come out and that only one side of the story has been reported. I spoke with the Madison County Sheriff, and he said they will not comment on an open investigation. Boyd and the missionaries are expected to appear in court December 13th. In Madison County, Chris Merkel, MTN News.